TFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Tuesday, two hours left to go in the trading day. And we got markets hanging around positive territory. S&P is up 46 points, trading at 2795. We got the Dow up 464 points, trading at 25,280. And the NASDAQ up a solid about 2.3%, up 170 points, trading at 7503. Gold contract up two dollars at thirteen thirty. We got oil up seventeen pennies, fifty three forty one. We got API inventory two and a half hours from right now. Tom will be on the air for those at four thirty for oil. We got the notes and bonds lower price today, higher yield as we see a reversal. Ten year negative twelve ticks, one twenty six sixteen. We get the thirty year off a point and three ticks, one fifty four oh five. And to the downside, Bitcoin now down almost a thousand dollars to seventy six twelve. Early yesterday, we were at eighty eight hundred. So a little bit of a pullback in the crypto world. Start things off. Let's jump over to the futures markets, and we'll. Start Start it off with, we'll get there, the Dow. So there's your acceleration most of the day, and we're not stopping at session highs. Excuse me, 25,278 in the Dow. Kind of been hanging at this level for about the last hour when I come in the, came on the air for that 1 o'clock update. There's your NASDAQ 100, quite an acceleration, 71.53. I did it last hour, pretty remarkable though. For the destruction you saw in the technology stocks yesterday in the NASDAQ 100, we go from 71.26 all the way down to 40, uh, 69 45 and we're now more than 200 points back above 71.54 in the nasdaq 100 s p is trading at 27.95 there's your crude oil chart 53.50 as we speak had made it down as low as 52.45 early early this morning gold contract at 13.30 made it up to 13.34 at one point and euro us dollar 112.60 in terms of what you have happening across the market, the big news out there is you have 450 points as the Fed signals it will help the economy if needed, and you have some trade tensions easing as well. Both of those kind of combining for a big day. You had Powell saying that the Fed will act as appropriate to sustain expansion. As we wrap this up, Fed fund futures, chances of a cut. September up at almost 90% cuts on the way. That's what the market is saying. Stay tuned, folks. Dave White coming up with the Power Trading Hour right now. Tom O'Brien live from 3 till 5. Stay tuned. Have a great Tuesday.